Okay, here we are. This is Jim with DC Digital. And today I'm demonstrating a service center um, count up timers that are gonna be used to uh, bring in the each car's bays uh, time, technician's time per car. And it's all network linked. And you, as you can see, you have four of them in front of you uh, I'm videotaping, but we can go to a lot more. But this specific service station has four bays, and they wanted to bring them all together on a network web page and be able to get the day's average and kind of uh, use that for their management uh, and awareness, and um, also uh, be able to have it visually there. Uh, in front of the technician so you can see how well he's doing uh, on, on servicing that vehicle. This is similar to our product that's the DC-40 T-up um, package oil change that's on our website. These are 25s, they're 2.3 inch high digits as opposed to the 40s that are 4 inch. And also this is a little different, we're not using, the customer didn't want to go with uh, pneumatic uh, switches so they went with a uh, infrared photo sensor that uh, will sense the car once the car raises up on the rack and when the car raises up that's when the timer will start and that's when it, he the timer will start and they'll begin to do service on the car. They're all networked uh, so they have an ethernet cord uh, run to them and I'll, do, I'll show you all that here in a minute. And then also there's a web page that we have a web server, what we call our web server one, that brings them all together on one web page. And it's also connected to the server, or I'm sorry, to the network. So you have the web server one connected to the, web, um, the network and you have all four of the timers. And um, that what they will do is bring in the days uh, timing and um, up to 365 service cars uh, per a timer and uh, at the end of the day at midnight start over everything gets wiped clean start over again also the web server will average out the, la the day's uh, times and give them a uh, calculated average of uh, how well they did um, on their service times. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the web server one. This is a web server one. It's on the internet. We have, we sell it online. Um, it just plugs into the network and it's 12 volts. This is a DC 25 oil change package with the sensor. And this is the sensor and the sensors come with the mount. I just don't show the mount here today. And those are good up to 10 feet. So they're adjustable, fully adjustable, and you can, you can check the sensitivity on those also, uh, light sensitivity. They connect to the back uh, plate, so the back and front disconnect. They're modular connections, uh, ethernet connections modular, and also power. But here is the sensor, it just, there's three wires, terminal block, and it gets br brought into your um, timer. Count up timer, so you're going to get elapsed time. So I'm just going to demonstrate that. Once a car gets in front of the uh, sensor, it resets and starts. And when the car is lowered, it will stop. Each car resets and starts the timer, as you can see here. Okay. Minutes and seconds. And it goes up to 99 minutes, 59 seconds. Also... The web page, here you see the web page from the web server one, and it's got our four bays. One, two, three, four. And it shows here, and uh, I, don't, I will get a close up here in a minute, the times that were, this is the current one, which is zero on this first one, and this shows you here, we have uh, five times that we've inputted to it already. And then the days averages two seconds, because all these times average out to two seconds. To set these up, you need to get 
check, take the MAC address, find the IP of each one, and then set it up into the system. Don't have to have a web server one. Each one of these has their own. Um, they'll, keep, they'll keep their own web page. They all have their own web page and then their own to average if you wanted to go that route. But the web server one brings them all together on one page and then it gives you the bays. And I'm trying to think, let's see here, how many different. So you can have quite a few, I want to say 50 bays. So there's 50 places where you can put an IP address and then label them bay one, two, three, or service um, stall or whatever you want to call it. Um, and that gives you that flexibility. So once the car gets in, uh, once the sensor senses the car, or vehicle, it counts up, starts counting up, and then it you can refresh it here. There's a refresh, and you can see the actual time as in real time. And then when the car is lowered and the sensor is not triggered anymore, it, it stops and records and shows you the time. So right here, this one was 11 seconds last time we did it. And then averages it all out for the day each time there's a new entry. So, there you have it. These are vehicle oil change, what they're using for, or service bays uh, timers. And they're all network connected in their web server, web page, bringing them all together on one web page, conveniently able to see from an office or from your cell phone or whatnot. It's browser-based, um, so, Yahoo or uh, Google or uh, your Bing will bring it in. Doesn't have to be any specific program. There's no subscriptions to buy. It's all web based, browser based um, technology. Again, this is Jim with DC Digital, and I'm demonstrating a four bay count up timer, elapse timer, car service center uh, system with. Uh, infrared photo cells to sense the car, uh, reset and start when, when the uh, car is sensed, when the car is lowered, it stops, displays the final time, calculates it up, gives you the last 10, but it'll, it holds 365 times, um, recorded times, days average, resets the days average, pretty complete system. Thank you for watching.